The Atlanta DA and the prosecutors in Young Thug's RICO case outlined multiple mistakes made by the YSL Kingpin, which will cost him years inside of prison. It all started when Young Thug revealed that he's working on writing new music within jail. Sadly, this new music also revealed his true thoughts about his time inside of his jail cell. While freestyling over a phone call to his nephew, Young Thug revealed he's having very upsetting thoughts about his life. As it's no secret sitting in a jail cell could break anybody's spirits down. But it also doesn't help that in his last court hearing, he was once again denied bond. He also found out members of YSL are snitching on him on some pretty secretive things inside of YSL. He's the one directing traffic. He is the one they're all afraid of. He's the one that's king slime. He is the most dangerous of the 28 judge. And I, I implore you not to grant him a bond. He is dangerous. If he gets a burner judge, and the court may know this, a lot of the communications that Mr. Williams is on is on FaceTime because it's not traceable. It's not trackable. Judge, I will also say that we have taken proffers from fellow members from Mr. Williams. Some are on this indictment, some are not. They have stated uniformly that Mr. Williams is dangerous. They are afraid of him, that if they cross him, he will them and their family. And they were very clear about that. Concerns that this court has is um, danger to persons and to intimidate other witnesses and obstruct the administration of justice. So um, I, and for those reasons in the aggregate, um, I'm gonna deny bond at this time. Shortly after that bond hearing, Young Thug did an interview while behind bars, as this was played at a concert in Atlanta. As shared in the courtroom, it was revealed members of YSL are snitching in the court case. Shortly after these proffer deals were created, we saw new paperwork being leaked in the Atlanta DA's office, revealing very concerning information on 4PF in Lil Baby. Very similar to how YSL and Young Thug were raided and arrested for RICO charges. It seems as if Lil Baby is now next on the list. An in-depth investigation. Recent months you've had two high profile racketeering cases. There gonna be more. Over oh, the next 60 days you'll see two more. Now shortly after she did that interview, paperwork was released revealing the next group that will be targeted by the Atlanta DA, known as Fannie Willis. Fannie Willis revealed two more rap groups that will be arrested under RICO charges that are based in Atlanta. One group being from a top artist in the game, with the second being an average sized artist who goes by the name of 22Gs. Now allegedly, the streets are claiming that members of YSL that did snitch in the case mention Lil Baby's name, which is why and what made him an immediate target to Fannie Willis. Big Lil Baby fans are blaming Young Thug for recruiting snitches in his group YSL. And if Lil Baby ends up getting arrested for Rico, interesting things may start to happen online. So with YSL already being taken down, according to DJ Academics, the streets are saying that Lil Baby and 4PF is next as well as DJ Academics having that same thought, as YSL and 4PF are very, very close ties with each other. Lil Baby and Young Thug are best friends, and have been for many, many years. Young Thug even paid Lil Baby at the start of his rap career to stay inside of the studio making music rather than being on the streets. They've had ties for a long time, as Lil Baby's been quiet ever since the night of May 9th, when the famous YSL Mansion, housing YSL Kingpin Young Thug, alongside 28 other members of YSL, were raided and arrested on a 56 count indictment on Fulton County. The 56 count grand jury indictment charged 28 members and associates of Young Slime Life, known as YSL. The indictment includes charges of conspiring to violate the racketeer influence and corrupt organizations known as the RICO Act. 
Act, alongside armed robbery and participation in criminal street activity. As News TV captured this exclusive image of authorities taking Young Thug into custody, as well as this video. As described on the day of their arrests, prosecutors say that YSL is a criminal street team that started in late 2012 in the Cleveland Avenue area of Atlanta. YSL claims affiliation with the National Red, as YSL's founders were Jeffrey Williams, aka Young Thug, Walter Murphy, and Trontavious Stevens. Young Thug is accused and was arrested for renting a 2014 Infiniti Q50 sedan from Hertz, which was used in the commission of the passing of Donovan Thomas Jr., a rival street member on January 10th, 2015. There's three main mistakes that Young Thug made in his RICO case, which is why Young Thug will not be released on bond. The first reason is how he runs his operation. During the court hearing, it was revealed by the YSL members that snitched that Young Thug is the head of the organization. Young Thug's recruits would often purchase used iPhones for him and use them as burner phones. Young Thug would collect these used iPhones, delete all of the apps within the phone, only leaving FaceTime on the phone. He would then use these phones to FaceTime all of his troops to handle business out on the streets, whether it was narcotic related, going after rival street members, or other things. As when using FaceTime, it's impossible for law enforcement and cell phone providers to tap the phones and listen in on phone calls. FaceTime is often used by street members as there's no trace of what is said anywhere in calls. As allegedly, when you would FaceTime Young Thug, if you completed the job, you would just FaceTime him and nod your head up and down, or if you didn't, you would just shake your head side to side. Then you would hang up the phone call. Now, members that also snitched mentioned that Young Thug is dangerous. If you cross him, he will get you and your family. The second mistake made by Young Thug is in his YSL mansion, where he lives full time, there was GTA type firearms found within the household. Allegedly, these firearms are so rare and unique that law enforcement doesn't even know how he would have obtained them. Prosecutors use this to their advantage against Young Thug during the hearing, telling the judge, you cannot allow Young Thug to be released, right back to his mansion where all of these GTA type firearms are. The leader of YSL can't be near these types of firearms, or he may even have some hidden burner phones within the house. He could then use these phones to direct the troops that are remaining in YSL to commit other acts in the free world. Now with the third mistake Young Thug made was even with him behind bars, his crew is still organizing crimes. An example of this is when the prosecution in the Thug case announced they had proffers from members of YSL. The YSL members that are currently not arrested right now were trying to break and delete evidence in the free world, as No Jumper reported this on Twitter. A YSL member was caught on an illegal cell phone trying to get someone on the outside to destroy evidence in the Young Thug Rico case. The county jail inmate using the illegal cell phone allegedly came from the famous drone delivery, as in the reports, this evidence was stated in the courtroom. Garlington and Quantavius did unlawfully commit the felony offense of conspiracy to possess telecommunication devices by an inmate. While speaking over a cell phone to an incarcerated Fulton County Jail inmate, they discussed a plan to fly a drone carrying a cell phone beyond the guard lines to a window at the Fulton County Jail. As associates of YSL made a plan to fly cell phones near a Fulton County Jail window using a drone. It's interesting as law enforcement actually watched the drone fly in. Rather than stopping the drone and confiscating it, they allowed the phone to be delivered. They allowed it to show up 
looked at somebody's window as law enforcement just marked down whose window it was. And instead of confiscating the phone, all they did was wiretap the cell phone. So inmates were using it, making phone calls on it, and giving law enforcement all of the evidence they would ever need. Which is how they figured out that there was members of YSL destroying evidence in the free world. This super creative police work helped law enforcement gain so much information on YSL, which is why Young Thug will not be getting released on Bond anytime soon. If you're new, leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe.